In today's good question, what makes the eclipse a once in a lifetime event? It's not the fact that it'll go dark in the middle of the afternoon. It's not the fact that half a million people are expected to visit our area to see it. It's the fact that we just so happen to be in a part of the world within the path of totality. Greg says, I remember just a few years back there was something similar to a solar eclipse. I read that the solar eclipse only happens once in a blue moon. So what was it that occurred a few years ago? In August of 2017, we did experience a solar eclipse. But for us here in western New York, it was not a total eclipse. Being in the path of totality is the once in a lifetime part. The eclipse itself is not. In 2017, the path of totality was between 60 to 70 miles wide, depending on your location. It cut through the U.S. from South Carolina up through Oregon. Here's the path from seven years ago, and here's this year's path. For April's eclipse, the path of totality is more than 100 miles wide, and it covers a more populated area. 31 million people live in the path of totality this year. In 2017, it was less than half of that. So is the eclipse itself really a once-in-a-lifetime event? No, but being in the path of totality is. The next total solar eclipse that we'll be able to see in the United States is happening in 20 years on August 23rd, 2044. If you have a good question you'd like answered, send us an email at goodquestion at whec.com.